Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video, we're not talking about. We're gonna continue to talk about uh, Windows Forms. Actually, wait, this is a, a series about Windows Forms. So let's delete this button, and we're gonna add a label. Okay, so let's drag a label here, uh, over here. Uh, so this is a label. It can be used for lot of, lots of things. Uh, let's click here and click in properties, so we can uh, define the properties of this um, thing here so uh, let me see here Pro okay I cannot see the property okay so we got some properties uh, to show you guys so one of the properties is called a font which you guys can imagine changes the font so you can select a specific font or a specific size to a font so let's increase this a little bit uh, so you guys can see if you double click it, we can um, we need to delete this. This is a this is a outdated. Uh, so if you click this that label, you we are automatically calling this function, which you guys can imagine can change the property. So all of all our objects or components can be can be uh, dynamically. Uh, modified, we can use uh, certain functions or uh, certain methods to change some of the parameters, uh, some of the the things about this component. So one of the methods uh, that this label uh, object has is called text. So we can change the text. You guys can see here. We can do this by changing here. So again, the text. We can change this to label. Let's say. Um, field, you could put this as you guys can see here. Uh, you guys can see, and you could actually change over here. So we could do label one. You guys can, oh, you guys need to remember one thing. You guys need to remember is that each object has a name. Okay, so usually it is the the name of the component by some number. So this is label one. If I had another label, it would be, it would be, would be label two. Actually, <laughs> I'm having trouble speaking. So it would be label two, label three, label four, label five, and so on. So the thing is, we can change this by doing this dot label one dot text equals let's say um uh. Let's say I don't know <laughs> trick or treat treat or treat or treat is it treat treat or trick I don't know I'm not an even English speaker so you guys can see uh, let's run this now uh, we're gonna run this uh, so you guys can see field if we click this label it changes to trick or treat or trick as you guys can see. If we click again, nothing happens. But this is expected, though. Uh, so you guys can see that we have this little modification, little modification, which would help us to give some of the things. So uh, actually, we got some other um, methods. Let's say I wanna, let's say change the color. So we got the back color and the photo color, the fourth color. The fourth color is the font, uh, is the color of the letters. So let's say I want a, a red color or blue color. I could call color, color dot red, something like that. So if you run this, I need to complete again. Uh, we can execute. So if I click this, the the, the color will change. Okay. So uh, yeah. So you guys can see it only changes once because I'm assigning red over and over again. But I could do something more, uh, something different. Okay. So thank you guys again for watching this video. See you guys next time.